Hey guys, how you doing? Geeky Guy Comics here again. So, if you don't know and you haven't seen the review yet, what I basically did was posted a review uh, on the back of the videos that I posted on Saturday. Um, it was the review for the uh, Alien vs Predator Thicker Than Blood. Um, to my surprise, and I'm absolutely shocked and over the bloody moon, uh, Dark Horse Comics liked the review and actually liked the image and i'll tell you what i am absolutely over the moon all the work that i do and all the reviews that i post to be noticed by the actual publishing company um of the comic is a seriously i'm over the moon i think it's a great achievement and it's just uh it's an amazing way to uh to start the week so um I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed as you can see, uh, absolutely over the moon, so I just wanted to get that out of the way there. Um, this video is just about the, the top new comics coming out this week. I've picked a few, uh, the hot new comics they are, so we're just going to dive straight in. So this week we've got The Visitor number one. This is by Valiant Comics. Um, this is basically, it's been written by Paul Levitz and art by MJ Kim. I haven't really heard of them. I'm not really a follower of Valiant Comics, uh, Valiant Comics even. Um, so... Uh, uh, they say never judge a book by its cover, but I've looked at this cover. It looks absolutely incredible. Just going to see what it is. The stories are basically so. The premise is he's unstoppable, he's untraceable, he's unkillable. Um, the world leaders are absolutely terrified of him. No one knows why, but are they on his hit list? Who knows? Stick around to find out. Yet again, that is by Valiant, uh, Valiant Comics, and that's released on Wednesday. Then we've got this is an interesting one, and I think it's absolutely amazing leading up to uh, leading up to Christmas and the festive season. This one is called Claws, the Life and Times of Joe Christmas. Now again, this is another indie comic. It's by Boom. Um, again, I'm not really a follower of Boom, as you probably know by now. I'm Marvel and DC superheroes and everything else. Um, so Boom not really know that much about him all i do know is that it's written by grant morrison uh who is the writer for the new x-men uh series i do know that much and with the art by dan moore now he's the one that did the amazing artwork for the buffy the vampire slayers comics that recently came out i overlooked them didn't really have a look at them like passed up on a few but from what i see the comics and the um the uh the writing and the the artwork to go alongside it were pretty good um so if that's anything to go by this is going to be incredible um it's 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 shot differently than a normal comics it's in a great widescreen um uh landscape mode so it's really interesting the artwork from the cover looks really interesting looks amazing there's a lot going on it's uh it's kind of based on uh, an advent calendar type of thing so it's it's about joe joe christmas he was abandoned as a child and he was taken in by uh claws and this follows their um their tag team in um their tag team in partnership as they go through 25 mini stories uh, which again ties back to the calendar uh, the advent calendar idea so yeah it ties into uh, 25 little mini stories that are very interesting and it looks it looks great uh, i'm definitely going to have a look at this and see what else is about we've got Again, there's quite a few Ghost Rider comics floating around at the moment. We've got Ghost Rider 20, 2099, we've got Spider-Man 2099, so there's a quite a few arc stories tapping in. But this one is The Return of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, number one. This is obviously by Marvel. This has drawn my attention because it's written by no other than by none other than the uh, Dennis Hopeless Hallam. Now he was obviously the uh, the key writer for I think it was Spider-Man uh, City of War, which was based on a computer game on the PlayStation, one of the fastest selling PlayStation games of 2019. And it's also we have um, yes, yeah, so we've got Dennis Hopeless Hallam, and then we've got the artwork by Scott uh, Hepburn, who is currently writing the Deadpool series. Again, if you haven't seen that, that came out a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so this story, the premise of this, the cosmic ghost rider is back. He's hell bent uh, as usual. He's trapped in a cosmic prison, and this time his weapon of choice is is the is the flaming chains. Um, and what I've kind of got from the the overarching theme is this: is that he's trapped in a prison. He's taking no hostages, and he turns his his cage that he's kept in into basically a all-out cage fight. So I don't think anyone in the prison is going to be safe. I don't think the prison guards are going to be safe. And I think it's the fact that the the future Frank Castle, as we've obviously know, he's now the new Cosmic Ghost Rider. The future of Frank Castle. Um, 
Is it going to be the last Alien Standing? It's going to be an all-out battle. I think it's going to be absolutely great. And there's a little uh, surprise coming at the end of this comic. I won't say too much, but if you just want to keep your eyes out for a little surprise short story by the one and only Donny Cates and a Jeff Shaw special, make sure you check that out. Um, <clears throat> As we know, 2019 has been a fantastic year for movies, DC, Marvel, etc. But we've also had some seriously good comics from DC by uh, being the year of the villain. We've had we've had the Joker, we've had Lex Luthor, we've had the Batman who laughs, we've had Harley Quinn. Now this one, is tying them all together, it's basically the conclusion of everything, and this is the uh, year of the villain, Hell Arisen One. So this is the conclusion of all of the year of the villains. Um, this one is all about Lex Luthor. He's obviously brought Perpetua back from the dead. He's given her her powers back um, and she's literally willing to go, willing to create carnage with her partner in crime, Lex Luthor. Um, but the thing is, there's only one person that stands in his way of the dark multiverse and that's the Batman who laughs. So this is kind of going to be Lex Luthor versus Batman who laughs uh, in a battle royale style type of comic. I mean, Batman couldn't stop him. Superman couldn't stop him. So I'm very interested to see how Lex Luthor thinks he's going to uh, going to finally finish off the Batman who laughs. Um, this is the um, this is like the conclusion of the arc of arc of the infected and also the um, yeah. So it's the it's the conclusion of the infected arc which was batman uh batman superman number five it's going to be very interesting as i just mentioned i'm very very interested to see how him how lex luther and perpetua plan on uh killing uh the batman who laughs because he's he's fought off a um loads of adversaries so far so it's going to be very interesting to see how that happens the last but no means least is now i thought this would have come out next year or maybe towards the end of next year this is suicide squad number one so obviously we know that suicide squad the new film coming out is is um is due to be released it's not going to be a re-release of the new one it's, it's basically a number two they've got a new uh, director and producer at the helm but this one it's by dc it's a suicide squad number one and yet again it's the un the unlikeliest set of villains has been put together to form a a task force x which have been renamed the suicide squad it's probably their bloodiest series yet based on the cover there's lots going on there's different action points everything draws your eyes to uh, to different points on the, on the front of the comic this time around, the mission is to neutralise a, a terrorist group called the uh, Revolutionaries. I'm not really sure what else is happening in the comic, but I mean, with it seems like Harley Quinn is now the leader of, um, of the Suicide Squad, and with her partners in crime, we've got the likes of Deadshot, we've got King Shark. I mean, there's absolutely anything that could happen. There, there's absolutely anything that could happen. Sorry, I'm still a bit, a uh, bit overwhelmed and sh um, I'm shocked from the uh, the like and uh, the like and the post that uh, Dark, uh, Dark Horse Comics um, surprised me with this morning so if I'm rambling on a bit please uh, please accept my apologies but as I said there's um, there's quite a few comics coming out next week these are just a few that I've tapped into these are just a few that I'm going to be looking to buy um, as you know I'm yet again I'm still trying to um, to uh, grow my YouTube following so if by this video you want to like it you want to share it you want to comment on it and you want to subscribe please make sure you do the subscribe button is ready for you to hit there and the like button is ready for you to hit there and if you want to follow please do share it with your friends family and anyone else who's willing to listen who wants to see a geeky guy talk about comics